Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula, home of the Husky community. Hope you're doing well today. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Sitting here on the couch with me is Gila to the left and Britney Spears on the right. And even though his name is Britney Spears, this is the boy of the house. We've almost reached 200,000 subscribers. That is so insane. We just reached 100,000 subscribers last April. So that means we've doubled our numbers in less than a year. So he was like, dude, that's, that's a lot. We gotta give you guys the biggest thank you in the entire world. That is proof right there that the Husky community is so big, so strong, and you guys come here to find all the knowledge, anything you need, entertainment, fun, or facts about Siberian Huskies. And we welcome you with open arms, no matter what breed of doggo you got. Even if you got a Chihuahua, maybe you got a Labrador, or it's a Caduzzi, you can come on over to the 60 Formula channel and have a good old time. So recently, we've been posting so many short videos. You've been getting a little glimpse into the life of what it's like to own a Siberian Husky. You see exactly what they act like on a daily basis, you see how they get in trouble. You've even seen Gila poop inside of a hardware store. But one of the reasons you guys watch this channel so much is you're interested in what it's like to own one of these insanely floofy beasts from the Arctic North. So on today's video, we're gonna be talking about what it's like to own a Siberian Husky. Now I'm making this video because while it does seem like all fun and games, Siberian Huskies are a lot of responsibility. So if you're ever wondering if you should get one, this is gonna be the video for you. You'll be able to gauge by this video whether you're down to do all of these things to have a Siberian Husky, or if you're like, uh, no way, Jose, I do not ever want to do that. Gila, are you? Are you scratching your butt on the sofa, dude? We're making a video. You can't scratch your butt in public. Gila. Are you back? It's okay. It's all right. It, all is forgiven. As long as you're all good down there on your, your bootack area. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I won't mention the bootack. So come with us, will you, on another episode of 60 Formula, where we find out exactly what it's like to own a Siberian Husky for a day. Are you guys ready? <laughs> Alrighty, then let's do it, guys. Scooby da bop 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 ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo doo. All right, let's start the day out. You got a Siberian Husky now, so what's it gonna be like? Every single day, I wake up and we take the Siberian Huskies out to potty. And what I mean by this is that you are never going to sleep in for the rest of your life. Yeah, he's like, that's exactly right. Siberian Huskies wake up very early in the morning, anywhere from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. They don't typically tend to be a dog that sleeps in. So this means you're gonna be waking up pretty early for the entire time that you own your husky but that's okay you can get used to this kind of schedule which is exactly what I did I used to wake up late all of the time but once I got my huskies I was like okay I get it I, my schedule is gonna change dude so Britney Spears is basically the one that wakes up every single morning and lets everyone know I got a potty. Then that means Gila has to wake up. Now, after they potty, it's time to have some breakfast. Now, I typically make it a small breakfast because in the evening, that's typically their supper time and that's when they eat the most amount of food. So I give them a smaller breakfast than I do a dinner. And after they eat and after they've gone to the bathroom, there's only one thing left for a Siberian Husky to do and that's play. All Huskies do after they eat and first thing in the morning is run around and play. Now this can be insanely irritating, especially if you're looking to catch a little bit of sleep. So the best thing for you to do with your Husky first thing in the morning is to take them on a walk or to tire them out as quickly as possible by playing fetch or by playing tug of war. Now, after you come home and after your Husky is exercised, it's gonna be about nine or 10 o'clock a.m. Typically, this is where Huskies start winding down. Huskies usually start going back to sleep and taking their midday nap around 11 or 12 o'clock. And now this is basically the time where you can do whatever you want because your Husky is gonna be out for a while. Oh yeah, Huskies sleep for a long part of the day. Even though they're super energetic, they like to sleep throughout the day. Typically, both of my Huskies will be asleep from 11 a.m. What are you doing, creepy? What are you, stop getting so close. Typically, my Huskies will be asleep from about 11 a.m. until about 3 p.m. They sleep for a long time. 
But once it becomes afternoonish, they start to perk up and they start to do more exercising. This is around the time where we take them for another walk. This is gonna be around the 5 to 6 p.m. time period. Now, Huskies are gonna be super active during this time. Even when you bring them home from the walk, I don't know why, but right before dinner, Gila is at her absolute most active. So since she's well-trained and she knows how to focus, this is the best time for me to train her because she's ready to engage with me, she wants to play and she wants to do things. So if I do training exercises with Gila or with Britney Spears, it's typically in the evening around that six o'clock time period. Now throughout the day, Siberian Huskies go to the bathroom. I take them potty on an average of about three to five times. Now, if you're gone for long parts of the day, if you're not home for like six hours at a time, your Husky's going to get into a regular rhythm and not needing to when you're not home. But it's still good to take them for a walk and let them go to the bathroom a few times. Don't be surprised if they go to the bathroom twice, three, four times. If you haven't been home all day, that's completely normal for a Husky. And then at the end of the day, they will let me know at eight o'clock, they're at their most hyper. Healy typically comes up to me, she'll bark, she'll be like, yo, Busta, it's time for dinner. Every night I have an alarm that goes off and they look right at me and they're like, uh, dude, dinner time. This is where they get fed the most. Every single night before they eat dinner, I have them do a focus training. You've probably seen me do it several times in the videos. I have them look at me, sit down, lay down, and stay focused for three seconds before they eat their meal. This is something they do automatically and regularly now, but it's just something that teaches them to focus and keeps them from snapping at the bowl when you're trying to put it on the floor. So it's just a good exercise and I still practice it even as the dogs are at three years of age. Now after dinner, both of the Huskies have to go potty, obviously. They have to do their numero dos. And so I take them out, and then when they come inside, that is another burst of energy time. Gila and Britney Spears will play like crazy. They'll run around the house, they'll chase each other. If you wanna take your Huskies out for another walk after dinner, that's all up to you. But typically, I just let Britney Spears and Gila play, and they spend a lot of energy indoors just wrestling or chasing a ball or playing tug of war amongst themselves. And finally, after all of the playing, that's when they finally wind down and they typically lay on the sofa or get into bed and finally fall asleep. And that's the time when you wanna cuddle with them, maybe even comb them a little bit because they're absolutely relaxed. So that's basically the entire day. That's what it's like living with a Siberian Husky. Now you gotta remember there's a lot of floof to clean. There's a lot of maintenance when it comes to Huskies. So don't forget you gotta grind their nails, you gotta keep them healthy. Yada, yada, yada. It's a long list, but in return, they give you unconditional love and they're your best friend forever. So it's totally worth it if you're up for the challenge. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe and don't miss out on all of our shorts that we post every single day here on the channel. Thanks for being a part of the Husky community. And until next time, we'll see you with another episode of Guess What, Dude? Yeah, whatever we make. Peace. Scooby-Doo-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop